the idea was you tell everybody that the writers dropped it so that when we bring it up and insist on talking about it, you can say, oh, we, we thought you dropped that, so you're not serious about it. Well, let me, let me say officially that it was on the table when we started these negotiations, it was on the table when we began the strike, it is on the table now, and it will be in our next contract. And let me, let me describe the big scary reality proposal that we have on the table. It goes something like this. If the reality program is a documentary, cover it because we cover documentaries. If it's a competition show, cover it because we cover quiz and game shows. If it's a talent show, cover it because we cover comedy variety shows. That covers everything and that is how you cover it. I want to introduce a speaker who is very familiar with the reality show world and its working conditions. Uh, she started working as a PA at the age of 16 and then went on to earn her law degree before coming back to our community to be a writer. Um, in July of 2006, she was one of the America's Next Top Model writers who walked out, <laughs> who walked out to secure a guild contract, was ultimately fired for demanding outrageous perks like health insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, Kai Bo. Hello everyone. Um, first, on behalf of thousands of reality writers and producers, I want to thank you, um, our union writers, for walking away from your jobs, for striking. We applaud you. We are inspired by you and we stand behind you. So thank you very, very much for being here and for having this day. Thanks for having this day where you recognize reality writers. Um, I grew up in a hippie Bay Area family where we weren't allowed to watch the idiot box. Thank you. Oh, oh. So it's no surprise that my entire adult life has been dedicated to television. I've been in casting, writing, and producing reality television for four years now, and I've watched it grow from a niche, experimental format to the most powerful genre in television. And after a long day's work, I love to see uh, Tim Gunn criticize a horrible outfit, and I actually cry when I watch most Amazing Race finale. And apparently the world feels the same because last year when I went out for my first sitcom uh, season, most of the executives wanted to gossip with me about Top Model instead of talk about their own shows. So I'm not here to slam reality television. Both on screen and behind the scenes, reality is the most diverse segment of television. Nowhere else are people of color, women, and young artists in positions of power as writers, producers, and directors enjoying virtual creative autonomy. And reality is the only place in our industry I know that within two years, someone can move from being a tape logger to running the story department and in another two years be EP of their own show. Not at all. <laughs> but as the reality genre has grown, the lines between reality and scripted have gone from blurred to non-existent. Many reality shows are now hybrids with more than half of their scripts written before they are shot. And many shows and specials now deemed reality are identical to union pro uh, protected documentaries. I'm thrilled that thousands of us are able to use our talents to create amazing shows, but I'm more concerned than ever that we are still working under exploitative and illegal conditions. Yeah. Some of my fellow 
reality writers and producers have become wary of the Writers Guild, and many have been influenced by the press who always seem to find and interview the one pessimistic or depressed top model writer they can find. And I'm happy to say that all of us landed jobs within the year. One of us sold a show to ABC Family and joined the Guild. Many of us landed agents and managers, and many of us make as much as $700 more a week than we did just last year. But, like the rest of reality writers and producers, we are still part of an unjust system, helping the studios make over 100% profit while receiving no health benefits, no overtime, no residuals, and no pension plans. And now, after our fellow union writers have walked away from their jobs to secure better contracts for all of us, it's more apparent than ever that we are being used as de facto strike breakers against the very same writers, you all, who inspired us to join this business in the first place. I say this to my fellow writers in reality and my fellow producers. If you are a writer or a producer in reality, the Writers Guild is your union. It's that simple. No one else is fighting for us on our behalf. They've been fighting for us for over four years. They need our continued input and our support. As artists, let us be inspired by the, create, the cor courageous and creative writers throughout the country who've walked off their sets, put their own careers in jeopardy for those of us who are fortunate enough to do the work we love every single day. Thank you so much. Yeah.